Hi folks. In the following I want to show you a new feature of Viewer we can and the firmware and hardwares I have done for that to support that and what this allows you to do. Now the new feature I'm talking about is the set of tunnel messages which had been introduced a month ago or something like this and they allow you to transport any type of data over via the CAN bus in a totally transparent way. So for example here I have a PixHawk which is connected to the CAN bus. Of course I have an SL CAN adapter here to look what's going on on the CAN bus. And then in addition I have here such a UC4H UART bridge which is connected to the CAN bus. And on the other side it has a UART port which I've connected to a standard USB TTL adapter. And what's possible now is to use this UART port on here exactly like any other serial port on the PixHawk. Okay, and first some background. Let me, oh, this is, everything is switched off. I just briefly, quickly switch on the, the PixHawk and this is also connected, yes. So in the UFO, in the SCUI tool you see, so this is the PixHawk and this is now this UC4H UART bridge and I want to briefly go into its parameters. So this bridge supports two UART ports. I'm just using one UART1 one, and you can see that you have to set the baud rate of course and then in addition you have to set the channel ID which is set here to 71. So that's important to identify the correct messages. Now in, in the PixHawk you have also to set some parameters. So the PixHawk is on COM number 18. So I'm choosing here COM number 18 and connect. So this takes a while, you know this, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so in the first thing of course you have to do is that you, in the CAN section that you enable the CAN bus and you see that I've enabled here bus number one. What's more important now is that when you scroll down to the seals sections, when you see that in addition to the usual seal ports, seal to six, which you have available, you now in addition have a seal tunnel seal one, two. So this firmware I've done provides three additional virtual UART ports uh, through this uh, CAN bus. Now if you look into the parameters you see you have to set the baud rate of course and then you also have to set the protocol and this protocol is exactly the same protocol as you would choose or use for any other serial port. So it's exactly identical, totally transparent. And uh, then you also have to set the, the channel ID here which needs to be the same channel ID as is used in your UART bridge. Now for the following to show you this I will go I will switch off the the seal port number 5 and I will enable here I will set in here 1 which means um, that this virtual tunnel number 0 uh, talks now muffling okay so we write this and then we disconnect this because we have to reboot the whole thing. So we reboot the PixHawk. And now what we're going to do is, instead of connecting the mission planner to COM number 18, we are connecting to COM number 23. COM number 23 is this UART port on this UC4H UART bridge. So this means that the communication with Mission Planner will be now through here with COM23, through this UART bridge, over the CAN bus, to the Pixar and back. Okay, so instead of COM number 18, we are choosing COM number 23 and we are connecting now to COM number 23. Okay, this also takes, takes. In the UFO CAN guy, you can see already that there's a lot of messaging going on now. In addition, there's a lot of this, this tunnel broadcast messages um, transmitted. And the data rate is something like 300 frames per second. Okay, so this connects here. 
we are now connected and just to demonstrate this to you uh, so this is the pixhawk i'm moving it now around and then we can look in the hood and this indeed uh, moves this works so this shows that i can connect vision planner to this your port i also can connect a storm gimbal controller to this so what we have to do is we disconnect here because we need this port we connect back to port number 18 mistakes a while okay blah blah so we go back to our parameters and now in addition so the seal little seal protocol was already chosen to be one muffling so what we have to do now in addition to choose the mount so the mount the mount type has to be number four okay so we write these parameters okay and now of course we have to connect a storm gimbal controller that's what i'm going to do now Okay, so this is a Storm Gimbal controller. It's connected now via its serial port to our UC4H bridge. And of course, I've configured this Storm Gimbal controller to uh, emit muffling messages. Okay, so what we should see now, okay, this is, this is going on already. So you see that the gimbal is moving, there's this, 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 this dirt um, coming. You see here all the steward messages and in order to demonstrate to you now that this gimbal is working I switch on now the transmitter so this should connect now to here, yes it does and then, so this is this, uh, this flaw of this storm implementation in autopilot so now when I move, when I move the stick I can move my camera by moving the stick. To show this, make it like this. Okay, fantastic. Now, so what you should realize that the communication now is I'm using here the seal port as normal. I'm having here a seal port as normal, except that this seal port is now here via this virtual UC4H you would pitch over the canvas. Okay? So to show you that things can be done even more complicated, I've rearranged the setting a bit. What I've done here is I've connected a second UC4H Hewitt bridge, which is now on COM number 19. So we have now two of them, this one to which the gim storm gimbal controller is connected, and here a second one to which I have actually connected Mission Planner. So you see that Mission Planner is connected to port number 19, and you can see this here, that's the hood when I move uh, the Pixhawk, then you can see the hood uh, moving and the gimbal of course is also still working so when I move the sticks around you can see that the gimbal is working so we have now two virtual tunnels active and what I had to do in order to achieve that I went to the settings and had here whoops uh, okay so this was seal tunnel number zero which we had used before, it's on channel number 71 muffling protocol and what I've done now is I've activated all the seal tunnel number one so it's all the muffling protocol but now on channel number two and this is what you can see in the in the GUI that there are now two UART bridges and if I go to the second UART bridge you will see that it's indeed uh, connected to channel number 72 and that's how it's working so this demonstrates that uh, the firmware I've done here does not only provide one virtual UART port, but here two or in total up to three. That's all I wanted to show you. Have fun.